Now let's look at the real cause of seasons. Let's take a source of light and shine it on a paper horizontally. We will see a circle of light. Now if we turn the paper, we will see an ellipse. This is same as cutting the cylinder at an angle. The area of this ellipse is larger than that of a circle. With the same amount of light falling on the larger area, intensity of light on the surface decreases. Suppose we take the same situation at Tropic of Cancer when the sun rays are directly overhead. At this time however, at Tropic of Capricorn, the light will be falling at 2 times 23 and a half or at 47 degrees. At 47 degrees, area of an ellipse at Tropic of Capricorn is one and a half times the area of circle at Tropic of Cancer. Thus the energy received in the southern hemisphere at Tropic of Capricorn is 1.5 times less than the energy received at Tropic of Cancer. This difference in received energy per unit area leads to higher and lower temperatures and this is the real cause of seasons. Now we have also seen that the length of days or nights change during the year. This is also because of the tilt of the earth. So when the earth's axis is pointing towards the sun at summer solstice, the northern hemisphere has larger days. This region gets heat for more time, thus raising the temperature and hence it is summer. The southern hemisphere has shorter days, longer nights, lower average temperatures and hence winter. Now if we consider earth's position at winter solstice, exactly reverse of the above happens. Rays are directly overhead the Tropic of Capricorn, so energy received is less in the Northern Hemisphere. In addition, length of the day is shorter in Northern Hemisphere, causing an overall decrease in average temperature, and hence winter in Northern Hemisphere. Now let's see equinox from a side view. The axis of rotation appears vertical from this view. At equinox position, the sun's rays are directly overhead the equator. So heat received at same latitudes, let's say 18 degree north and south will be the same. And interestingly, the length of the days and nights for all latitudes will be equal. In other words, everyone on earth has 12 hour days and nights in this position of earth, which happens twice a year at equinox. This position lies in the middle of transitional phase between summer and winter every year. So we have seen that due to the tilt of the earth going around the sun, we have seasons. These are combined effect of sunlight falling at various angles at different latitude leading to different energy received at the place and duration of the day or the amount of time a place gets light. So I hope you enjoyed the real reason behind the season. Thank you.